Conversations about climate are more common than they were even just a few decades ago. And now interest in studying these topics is also on the rise. University of Washington senior Sarah Hensley knows exactly how she wants to spend her career. As we all know, climate change is uh, occurring and I'm really interested in understanding how these changes that we're seeing in our environmental conditions are influencing uh, the biological components of our systems. A curiosity she's cultivated the last four years diving in from the get-go. Coming into college, I was really excited about this marine biology degree and I had looked online and it looked really amazing, but then being there like in the boots, in the rain boots with the rain gear on, on the boat um, and being able to partake in the science directly in my first quarter of college, I knew that it was going to be an amazing experience. But that is also something that really draws students to the University of Washington. It's knowing that there is the chance to really study the science. Julia Parrish is the College of Environment's first and only Associate Dean of Academics, a role she started when the college was created about 15 years ago. This program has flourished in that time. Even over the last four years, the undergraduate population has increased by 50%. So the growth has been explosive. It's not just UW's 50% growth. Washington State University's School of Environment has grown by 23% in the last five years, adding on about 100 undergraduate students. Oregon State's degree has increased 61%, adding on nearly 300 undergraduate students. The University of Idaho's undergraduate enrollment hasn't changed, but PhD and master's students have grown 106% in the last five years. Julia says she hears a common goal among these students. Obviously one is saving the world, right? And with today's climate problems, global warming, it's, a, it's something that we hear about every day in the news. There's just a lot of weight on the shoulders of the students coming into college today to try and fix things that their elders are responsible for. An energy Sarah says she feels and hopes to lean into, feeling optimistic. The more we understand about these issues and the more uh, research that, that comes out on these issues, the more we can facilitate these conversations, I think. And so ultimately, I think, um, the younger ge generation has a uh, tremendous potential to, to drive us in, in um, this kind of direction um, that allows us to address these issues. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.